Hello guys and welcome back to Helium Network channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made this uh, quarter ground plane antenna with the frequency of uh, 868 for uh, especially for a helium miner. Um, as you can see I used uh, five pieces of uh, w, that WL240 cable I had. Um, I used a piece of metal that I found in my garage. Uh, it's a 10 by 10 square piece of metal and the thickness of it is about uh, 3 millimeters. I uh, made this antenna using uh, a website, I mean a, a calculator on a website that, uh, that calculates the length of each segment that I should uh, use. I will let you uh, link in the description so you can go and uh, see what is uh, that site about. The length of these four elements are about uh, 9.2 centimeters each. This vertical one is uh, 8.2 centimeters. I glue those four uh, at the corner of the piece of metal using uh, the, that uh, tin soldering thing and uh, the only thing that I want to say is that this antenna is not short circuited which means if it's uh, going to be struck by the lightning it can cause serious damage to the miner but uh, if the weather outside won't be really well I will uh, just turn off the miner hope I will have uh, at least three days uh, three sunny days so I could uh, test this new antenna I made. As I said before, I don't have a device with which to measure or calibrate the antenna frequency, but according to the dimensions given by that calculator on the site, on the website, it should work on the frequency of 868. Anyway, uh, now I'm going to mount the, it outside on the roof and uh, for three days, as I said, I will test it. If in these three days I will not have any activity such as witnessing or uh, transmitting any packets, data packets, uh, this means that the frequency of the antenna is not correct and it still needs to be um, adjusted with that frequency analyzer, which I don't have. So I will go and uh, mount it, then uh, show you what uh, activity I had after three days. Another thing, if you do want to make this antenna, uh, be sure that this uh, vertical conductor should not touch the antenna ground. These four elements soldered on this uh, piece of metal are gr uh, antenna's ground. So we should not solder this one or let it touch here or uh, the ground. Okay, so I mounted the antenna outside, as you can see, on that piece of wood there, that stick of wood. It's not that uh, high than uh, this uh, antenna I, was I, was, uh, I made in the last uh, video, but uh, let's hope it uh, has a good position even there, so in those three days I will have uh, any activity. If not, uh, maybe I will uh, take it off from there and... Uh, put it on the top of that uh, metal pole and wait another three days for any rewards. About that antenna that I've made, that uh, Omni antenna that I've made, I will uh, come back with a video, I will upload another video of uh, what rewards I had and uh, what uh, data packets I transferred with uh, this antenna. Okay guys, I uh, mounted the antenna. Uh, we are here at uh, the shelf where the miner is. Uh, as you can see here, I connected the antenna without an SMA connector because now I uh, unfortunately don't have one. So let's say it's uh, properly connected there. Uh, we got the Ethernet cable in, uh, plugged in. Uh, as you know, I uh, use a cooling fan 
uh, I used to have it uh, on the back of the miner, but now uh, I uh, just uh, put it here on the shelf using a rechargeable battery. And uh, once I see on the miner's dashboard uh, when the miner exceeds, I don't know, maybe 50 degrees or more, I just turn it on and in about 30 minutes, maybe less, uh, it drops down to 30 degrees again. Alright, let's uh, power it on. Alright, we already have Ethernet. I think if uh, I did not connect the antenna properly here, the LoRa LED should not uh, be on after this uh, this uh, minor boot phase. You see now it's the Bluetooth. It's in pairing mode. Now, in about 30 seconds, I guess, LoRa should turn on. Good, now LoRa turned on, which means the antenna is connected properly and everything is going well. I will just check the miner on the, the dashboard and the Helio map to be sure the miner has any outbound inbound status uh, if it's uh, syncing with the blockchain and uh, if it's connected to the internet. Okay, so now we will pair the app with the miner. We will go to Diagnostic Report and as you can see we have outbound, inbound checked, blockchain sync is uh, 100%. We will now uh, just see if uh, it is uh, bringing, syncing any blocks from the blockchain. So we logged in the minor dashboard. Here we have the blockchain height and the blockchain and the miner height, which means the miner is bringing blockchains. It should be the same as the blockchain height. And as you can see, it is bringing uh, blocks from the blockchain. Very slow, but it is going to reach the blockchain height in about, let's say. It's uh, been 15 minutes, almost 20, while I was uh, recording this, so the miner wasn't synced. It must now get uh, every block to be the same as the blockchain Hague. But everything is going well. That's it for today. Don't forget to leave a comment down below, subscribe to this channel, leave a like, and uh, don't forget to check out the description uh, if you want to make this kind of antenna, go on that website and there you will have all you need to know on uh, how to make this quarter ground plane antenna.